Hi everyone, welcome to Fintech Academy. This is Hirsch. Today I want to show you how you can use two non-posting templates in QuickBooks Online. One delayed charge, two delayed credit. All right, non-posting transactions. Non-posting transactions in QuickBooks Online don't affect your accounts in any way, but they are helpful because they enable you to enter potential transaction information you don't want to forget. In addition to the estimates, QuickBooks Essentials and Plus also enable you to record two other non-posting transactions, the delayed charge and the delayed credit. First, let's look at delayed charge. You can use a delayed charge transaction pretty much the same way you use an estimate. The delayed charge transaction records potential future revenue and you can convert a delayed charge to an invoice in the same way you convert an estimate to an invoice. If you want a way to keep track of your services and products you did for customers, use delayed charges to keep track and create your invoice once the job is completed. You can add all your charges and invoice at the same time or add your charges at separate times and then invoice. The other one, which is delayed credit. The delayed credit transaction enables you to record a potential future credit memo. When you prepare an invoice for a customer for whom you have entered a delayed credit transaction, QuickBooks Online displays the delayed credit in the pane on the right side of the invoice window, and you can add the credit to the invoice. All right, let's look uh, live in action in QuickBooks Online, how we can use these two templates. All right, guys, so we are in QuickBooks Online right over here. Let's see if I click on the plus on the top left or within the customer section, we will be able to see the bottom two templates are one is delayed credit and the other is delayed charge. Let's have a look first at, at the delayed charge. So when I click on that, that's going to open the template on that delayed charge right on the top. I'm going to create a customer over here, uh, let's say space computers, okay, and let's uh, add one over here like this. Once you have completed and created the customer, let's see that, you know, I want to invoice them um, for, let's say, 1st of July. Now, as this is a delayed charge transaction, right, so it's not going to hit my, my customer or anywhere in my book so I can freely enter a transaction. Let's say I did a consulting for them. So I'm just going to type in over here consulting hours and I'll mention over here consulting hours um, uh, on, let's say, July the 1st of 2021. Uh, the quantity, let's say we did three hours of consulting and $150 per hour, so $450 plus the tax part. It's going to show on the top over here that $450 is the amount. I will do save and new over here because I want to record, let's say, one more transaction for the same uh, customer. So I'm going to say space computers again, and I'm going to type over here. Yes, we have consulting hours, which is already there, but let's say this another consulting was done on uh, 6th of July. So I'm going to change this that oh, I'm keeping a track that 6th of July. And on that date, let's say we did four hours of consulting. There you go. I have it recorded, save and close. I will be completing. On the left, I'll go to sales and I'm going to click on the customers. When I click on that, I will be able to see my space computer right over here. The open balance is still zero because, you know, uh, nothing has been recorded. But when I click on the space computers, it's going to show me over here that I do have those two delayed charges recorded over here. Whenever I'm ready, I can click on the extreme right on the, in the action section. There is create invoice. Let's say these are the two consultings that we did. I keep a track of that. Uh, if I want, yes, I can add more. As of now, if you see, there is no um, amount showing that there is anything that we are asking the customer to pay because we haven't created an invoice and delayed charges are not going to be hitting 
the books at all as they are non-posting transactions. Um, let's say if, if you are a um, contractor and if you're spending uh, money on behalf of the um, customer, then this is one of the good ways to keep a track of that. And when you are ready, you can click on create invoice. I can just pick up any one of them. And when I click on that, uh, QuickBooks is going to tell me that, hey, you have one more. Did you want to add it to the same? And let's say if I do say that, then uh, automatically that will be added over here. I invoice this guy on, let's say, 9th of July like this. For example, total amount is on the top. That invoice number automatically put in. And both the transactions are over here. All right. So we have created this. And as soon as as I do save and close we will be able to see that yes now we can see that the amount is booked the uh, amount is also updated on the top right the invoice is also created so this is how you can use the delayed charge it is a good way to park your to be um, expenses that you want to um, charge your customer or to be invoices uh, that you want to charge your customer so that you don't forget now it is also showing me over here for space computers that this is the amount it's going to go and showing the accounts receivable as well because it is money yet to be received so that's how you can put it now you know uh, the second portion of this uh, particular tutorial which is about de delayed credit how does that work well let's say you and your customer discuss and the customers say they hey you know what um, the consulting that we did on let's say July the 1st uh, uh, was uh, we completed half an hour early or an hour early can you give us a credit for that of course we can do that we can click on the delayed um, you know a credit that template you don't want to forget it so you want to park it over here I'm going to select space computers like this and you know I'll go over here uh, go through all the part just put in the date and let's say you guys had a discussion about this on 7th of July now I go over here and select again my uh, product or service consulting hours and you know as discussed with customer credit uh, to be given for let's say half an hour or 0.5 hours as as a long-standing customer put it that way okay very good and i'm gonna say over here 0.5 the rate i'll mention over here uh, oops i should be doing 150 right because quickbooks is going to do the math for me and it's going to show that 75 dollars is we are parking a as delayed credit save and close now the question is that hey you know what uh, 75 dollars of course is a non posting or non accounting transaction so it's not going to show anywhere um, is there a way uh, we can see the credit is sitting over here uh, yes you can create an invoice and in the future invoice you can link it but your customer might tell you can you do that adjustment on the invoice which you're gonna send it to me so that you know the credit gets hit on that and uh, I don't want it to be delayed next time whenever you send the invoice rather it's better you adjust on the existing one now you have already created this invoice but you know with QuickBooks online that's not an issue you can click on the invoice as I'm gonna do right now over here and as soon as I do that we see that yes you know these two are the consulting hours that we did that is showing up how do we add the credit which we want to apply which we had created as delayed well you need to click on this extreme right there is small little an arrow showing I will click on that and as soon as I do that QuickBooks online shows over here that there is a credit that is there it is a taxable because there is a HST component I'm gonna click add on that as soon as I add it here there you go it is now applicable to your existing invoice the invoice has now changed and if you go down your customer will have a very good clear understanding that these are the two charges that because there is an amount and there you go that's a credit that has been applied negative amount showing up over here the math has been completed you are all set you have updated the invoice and if you want you can send it of course uh, to the customer straight away uh, save and send for now I'm just gonna do save and close 
QuickBooks will say, hey, you have updated this transaction. And uh, if you're okay with that, I'm gonna say yes to that. As soon as I complete that, you will be able to see that now the balances are updated. My credit, which was over here, is also showing the status as closed. So guys, this is how you can use these two valuable features right on the top in the plus. Um, in this section of customers, first is the delayed charge, then the delayed credit, and it will show up. You can do in the existing invoice or you can create a new one and you can link the credit later as well. And the rest, the next step is just receiving the payment, which is pretty much regular step. By just clicking on that link right over there, we can complete the payment. Let's say our customer is paying us on, let's say, uh, right away on July the 15th if I put that over here uh, with all the details yes save and close this will complete the transaction uh, balance is zero everything is zero and it will show over here space computers has a zero balance so uh, guys that's how you complete the uh, linking of all of those delayed uh, charges and credits the invoice is also paid status also gets completed Alright guys, so that was delayed charge and delayed credit. If you found this video helpful, please like our video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Also let me know in comments what would you like to see in future videos. Like uh, Hirsch, I would want to see this video or Hirsch, can you make a video on this topic for QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online. Alternatively, you can also visit us at fintechsolutions.ca for our courses. Thanks for stopping by.